President Trump is getting even tougher with Pakistan. When President Trump said that Pakistan doesn't do a damn thing for the United States, it certainly caused a bit of uproar. But he was right, wasn't he? And when he said that Pakistan's government had helped hide Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden, he was right as well. I mean, Osama bin Laden was living right next to a military academy in Pakistan, for God's sake. Uh, but somehow, Trump saying this is controversial. I mean, welcome to the new normal, guys. Um, the president took the bold step as well of cutting off Pakistan from their foreign financial aid. Um, I was under the impression that this was hundreds of millions of dollars, but in an interview, Trump said that it was actually 1.3 billion a year being given to Pakistan, which he has now ended and good on him. And Trump is so right about this. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that Pakistan is an extremist state. Some may say a terrorist state. It's certainly terrorist supporting and that's They've provided safe havens to all sorts of dangerous people over the years. They've assisted Islamic militias, uh, they've funded and aided extremists, and extremists from this state have also been coming to the UK and the West generally for decades, proselytizing, terrorizing, and pushing an extremist agenda that only people from Pakistan could do, uh, and pushing it on our own soil here in the UK. And the Pakistani government, by the way, is no friend of the UK or the US. So what Trump is doing uh, by cutting off the foreign aid, uh, it's the only thing that's going to work to make these people listen, isn't it? You have to get tough. He's called them out. He's stopped their funding. And boy, are Pakistan listening now. Uh, a statement from the Pakistani government had the cheek to say, the foreign secretary told the US CDA that no other country had paid a heavier price than Pakistan in the fight against terrorism. Well, they certainly could have fooled me. Uh, and Pakistan's foreign secretary had called in Paul Jones, the US charge d'affaires, uh, to the foreign office in Islamabad to discuss Trump's comments. The Pakistani government claims that Trump's comments are completely unsubstantiated, but, well, of course they would say that, wouldn't they? I mean, the idea that this is a country that has suffered more than anyone for tackling extremism is, is bonkers. It makes no sense. Um, this is a country that punishes people with death for blasphemy laws, Asia Bibi and multiple other people being sentenced to death for saying something allegedly negatively about Islam. And people are suffering there every single day. The Christian minority are living uh, in fear of their own lives. So I think Trump is right to call out Pakistan. And I think the UK should follow in favor. Uh, the International Development Secretary Penny Morden has said recently that she intends to change the way that we do foreign aid, but unfortunately she hasn't said she's aiming to change the targets uh, of the amount that we spend, which means we're probably going to end up spending the same amount on Pakistan, which is more than £460 million pounds every year. Uh, we even give prepaid debit cards with money on it every three months to households in Pakistan to spend however they like, and I think this is absolutely wrong. So I think it's time that the UK got tough in the same way that Trump has, and we cut them off completely. There's a flicker of hope that it might happen. Penny Morden is almost there. So I'm starting a petition at stopforeignaidtopakistan.com. I'm going to give this petition to Penny Morden, to the government, and tell them that we want more than just a, a change in the way that we do foreign aid. We want to cut off Pakistan completely. So please go to stopforeignaidtopakistan.com, sign the petition. It doesn't matter whether you're British or American. We need as many names as possible to tell the British government that it's time to follow in Trump's footsteps and get tough with Pakistan. I'm also doing a donation campaign to try and get an opinion poll, uh, well, commissioned for the UK. We want to find out how many British people in the UK want to stop foreign aid to Pakistan. I imagine it's quite a lot of people, especially after their eyes have been opened over the Asia BB case. So if you'd like to donate to help get that up and running, go to stopforeignaidtopakistan.com chip in whatever you can. But the most important thing is share this petition. Let's get as many names as possible. Uh, and you know what? If I can get in, uh, enough in fundraising, I'll do what I did last time with the Jay Landrum campaign and we'll get a billboard going around London. Uh, this is a really important campaign, I think. People are suffering in Pakistan. Uh, and honestly, we, the idea that we're sending money to a terrorist state, to a terrorist supporting government, an extremist government uh, that continues to hurt people, I just think is wrong. 
It, the, this is the kind of pressure we need to put on that government to tell them to change their ways, to treat people better. And maybe then we'll come to the table and talk trade deals and all sorts of other nice things that we do with other civilized countries. But until then, I think it's time to stop foreign aid to Pakistan. So please go to the website, sign the petition, chip in what you can and share this campaign with everybody. Cheers. It's time for the UK to get tough with Pakistan just like Trump did. Go to stopforeignaidtopakistan.com, chip into the campaign, sign the petition and share it with all your friends.